Welcome to External Share's quick tutorial on how to filter child pages with the ability to create page labels for stakeholders, sales teams, and contractors. I will share with you today how to view a full space structure with and without confidential data. Let's get started by creating a new share link. Once this page is loaded, you can then change the link name to anything specific. In this case, we will change this to space structure with without confidential data. We will then select share child pages. Once share child pages is turned on, it allows displaying the page structure of the main page. Child pages will be accessible with the same permissions such as expirations, passwords, as this parent link. You can then click save and click on the external link that you've just created. All child pages are now displayed for your viewing. Once you've identified that everything looks correct, you can return back to the main form and click on the edit shared link. Now, let us take a look at only sharing child pages with label options. We will create an option for how child pages can be displayed. For example, we will create labels for our contractors, stakeholders, and sales teams. Keep in mind when creating child pages with labels, the labels must be identical to the pages you're looking to view. When you wanna use the words stakeholders, contractors, they must have be separated with a comma. You can also add two different labels, stakeholders and contractors, for example, and can easily view page labels and filter the results. Let's take a look at those next steps now. So here you can turn on view page labels, click save. We'll go back to our main child page. And then from here, we will add labels. So we're going to create a label for sales teams. Add, then close. We'll do the same for stakeholders. Add, then close. And the same thing with our contractors. Add then close. If you do forget to add, your labels will no longer be displayed, and therefore you would have to go back and recreate new labels, add, then close. So once we've completed those steps, we can now go back to our external share. We can click on our edit shared link. Now we can only share child pages with or without. But in this case, I'll show you the example of showing labels with. So we're going to share with contractors. First. As you can see, your contractors are labeled. And you can see the labels down here. We'll go back to our edit shared link. And the same thing with stakeholders. Click save. Click the shared link that you've created. And now you can see both stakeholders and contractors. We'll then click close. But what if you want to share without? So then you would go back to your child pages. And let's say we want to create a label for our stakeholders and also our contractors. We would then click add, then close. We would go back to our external link, click on edit shared link. Now, if we only want to share pages with our contractors, we click save, 
open the shared link. And as you can see, because labels are with stakeholders and contractors, it will display two pages. But if you want to say without stakeholders, we would then click save. And therefore, you should only display one page, which is our contractors. Thanks for joining us for this quick tutorial on how to filter child pages and using labels.